Have you ever heard the stories about the end? Yes, exactly about that absolute end, when humanity is drowning into the depth of the beast. I'm sure you heard a lot of this, and I've heard one too. But this one is not about an apocalypse where zombies occupy the streets, neither about the aliens that came from the above, neither is about made-up worlds, but rather about our reality, about people. As predicted, the invention of the nuclear weapons has changed it all. Never before has murder been of this vast scale and this destructive. After the decline of the USSR, the biggest in the world arsenal of weapons was thus divided between new established countries, Russia, Atania, Ukraine, and other young and ambitious nations. A couple of world leaders understood that such a wide-scale spreading of nuclear weapons among young and stable political regimes can turn into a great catastrophe. Meanwhile, weak democracies were falling under the pressure of authoritarian traditions. New dictators and military junta were coming to power. This is how the project of Budapest Memorandum was born. A treaty about nuclear disarmament of post-Soviet countries. A treaty that was supposed to secure the world from a nuclear catastrophe to create an effective system of containment and counterbalance. A treaty that was never actually signed. War came earlier. The war that swallowed up the entire world. My name is... Oh, it doesn't matter now. I'm just one of the stray ghosts in a dead world. There's no one to call me. But today my life has changed rapidly. I've found something special. Ahead you could recognize us as a small wooden building through the fog, and an old industrial locomotive standing next to it. That was a sawmill. Good old Meepo. Such a pity there's no petrol. A water barrel is totally empty. But there's some petrol left in the can. I guess it was used for a generator or a chainsaw. On the floor near the window, there was a visible fresh trace. Was that... blood? I've seen a lot of bodies before. Killed during riots, frozen, suicides. But this one was different. 
his military uniform and equipment, a badge, Armed Forces of Atania. Apparently he was shot in the back. The bullet penetrated his bulletproof vest. In his hand, the man was holding a military radio. The transmission button is tightly fused. His pockets, they are empty except for a small bunch of keys. On his waist, there's a parabellum gun. On its holster, there's a writing. From father to son, Luger 08 to the Reisky family. I've seen a lot of bodies before. Killed during riots, frozen, suicides. But this one was different. He died recently. Military uniform and equipment. A badge. Armed forces of Atania. Apparently he was shot in the back. The bullet penetrated his bulletproof vest. I fired the gun and shot took another life with a rumble. I didn't have a choice. One of the keys from the bunch I'd found passed, and the lock succumbed to it. Apparently the murdered soldier lived here, for some time. All I found in a backpack, a half-empty notebook, and a pack of cigarettes. A lever that looks like a part of some mechanism. On the floor near the window, there was a visible fresh trace.
All the systems were ready. I had to pack everything I needed. There was a long road ahead. <laughs>